tsunami. Let's talk about this trucker convoy. You brought this up just a moment ago. So this is called Take Our Border Back. It kicks off Monday. So you've got multiple starts. You've got trucks leaving from Virginia Beach that are going to go through Texas, Arizona, California. On the website, it describes the event, event as a peaceful assembly, encouraging all freedom-loving and law-abiding Americans to attend. I saw that you posted on X to raise awareness about that. You obviously just mentioned it a moment ago. I understand that you're going to be speaking once they get to Eagle Pass. Uh, I also see that, you know, that it's going to go through Yuma. It's going to go to San Ysidro, California as well. Uh, 700,000 vehicles? That's the prediction here. How do you keep that, well, peaceful and on track? That's a lot of trucks. Well, the people that have organized this are the same people that went from California to D.C. with the truckers. Uh, I understand we're going to be joined by Canadian truckers. So these people... Uh, are committed to a peaceful demonstration that we've had enough. The American people have had enough. We're demanding that the Biden administration do its job, enforce the laws on the books, uh, and secure our border. Eight million people during the Biden administration, uh, that's more than the population of Ohio. Uh, this is the time for us to rise up as the American people and demand that our president do his job. Well, I, I hope, again, I do hope that envoy is, is, is peaceful and organized and uh, doesn't kind of, you know, you, you worry about large movements like this. I mean, obviously, the Canadian trucker convoy you just mentioned ended up uh, creating a, a lot of uh, issues and a, a supply chain issues, of course, where the business network, I had to ask that. But I do want to bring in Carol Ross. She's got a question for you. Go ahead, Carol. Yeah, Congressman, I love the fact that people are standing up and using their voices peacefully, but we know that bad actors in the past have have co-opted these types of events and done everything they can to make the peace-loving Americans look bad. Are you concerned that there might be some sort of co-opting of this convoy? Uh, that's always a, a, a probability, but you learn as you do these events. So they now know that that might have been in the past. So they've got measures in place to make sure that does not happen. Uh, and I, I am hopeful that that will not happen because uh, this should be a peaceful movement of the American people joined by other uh, nations if they want to come. This is the Canadian farmers, uh, truckers. This is the German farmers. This is the French farmers. This is the Dutch farmers. This is a movement well beyond the United States that people are simply tired of the overreach of their federal governments. And we're pushing back. Now is the time. Uh, we continue, obviously, these proceedings against uh, uh, Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas. Uh, where are we with that right now? Before we go, before we go, where are you with that? Well, wants to uh, impeach uh, the secretary, and it failed because of Republican votes. I think that we will try again in the very near future. I thought we were going to do it last week, mm -hmm. uh, but I think we're close to doing it. And this time, I fully expect that impeachment to pass and him to be impeached. Pass it to the Senate for an actual trial. Okay. Okay. All right. We are, of course, following that story as well. Congressman Keith Self. Congressman, thank you for being here.